nature, biodiversity is existential. We cannot survive without nature. Our window of opportunity is here like a decade, 10 years. And we are the last generation who can push the buttons forward or backwards. And once we uh, reach those tipping points, it, we cannot change it anymore by ourselves. Welcome everybody to the River Park Maas Valley. And that's why we are here today, because it's so important that we can show you what nature restoration can be. There is a, a negotiations going on in the European Parliament and between the EU member states about a legal proposal for nature restoration, the nature restoration law. And the aim of this law would be to make this kind of uh, restoration projects happening all over Europe on a large scale. So it's very important in biodiversity matters, but also in climate matters that this river has a restoration on flood prevention. The communities who are living in the surroundings of these big parks are gaining, are winning. The investment of one euro in a national park or a nature park benefits 10 euros the local community. And totally we uh, possess about 3000 hectares of nature. So in 1995 we started here with, to make nature with, uh, also with cows and, and horses. When you give nature space, she takes it. And we see here that the area of nature doubled in the last 30 years, but the biodiversity and the flora, for example, tripled. Nature restoration uh, brings a lot of benefits to people, but it needs to be done together with people. It's, it's biodiversity, yeah? we try to, to make a um, maximum on biodiversity. There's also a growing number of companies that are uh, supporting the nature restoration law because they also see that if, if there is no action taken now, they will face problems with their supply chains in the near future. So let's make this happen on a large scale across Europe and we are counting on you to help us to make this happen. If we give marshes the room and if we recreate or rewet the swamps and the wetlands that we uh, lost in the last 50 years to, uh, by irrigation and such, then we can mitigate climate change a lot with the help of nature. Natuurherstel betekent uh, ja, zorg dragen voor je natuur, maar dat betekent ook wel de mensen beschermen. Uh, de mensen beschermen tegen de klimaatverandering die er is en die gaat niet vanzelf weggaan. En dat betekent inderdaad dat we een aantal ingrepen gaan moeten doen, uh, zoals uh, wat dat hier is gebeurd, die natte natuur herstellen, rivierbedden ook uh, uh, verdiepen. Uh, net om, uh, als het dan overstroomt, om de mensen die hier in de buurt wonen, om hen en hun woningen ook uh, op een goede manier te beschermen. En tegelijk doen we ook aan natuurherstel en dat is ook goed voor onze natuur. We have to prove now that protection is not only the protection of wildlife, of the birds and the bees, but it's also about the protection of our own lives. This is what we try to show here, that you can bottom up, start with something beautiful, make sure you show the benefits to the local inhabitants and bring them along in the story. That what I do I do it for the for the for the society. Yes? This volunteer work, I do it for the society and for our child and our grandchild. And that makes me happy. Hope is something active. We have to roll up our sleeves and make it happen. So let's hope, but do it in action to make it work. <laughs>